Hey, what's up you guys? Today I am going to be doing a eye look tutorial. In my first couple of videos, I had gotten a couple of comments saying that it looked really pretty and someone suggested I do a eye tutorial. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how I got that look. Um, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Gold palette. This, like, I could use this every day. If I only had one palette for the rest of my life and it had to be this, like, I could make this work because it is just so freaking beautiful. The, the pigment in the shades is awesome. The mattes blend out so well. The, like, the shimmery shades and stuff, like, this one up here, it feels wet. It is the coolest freaking thing. Just look at it. Yes! Look, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys, which I'm sure that because this palette has been out for a while now, so many of you have already seen swatches and stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and give you some swatches uh, just in case you're new or you just want to see how it looks on my arm. I don't know. All right, so from top to bottom, you have Lime Chrome, Python, Sparks, Aria, and Kava or kava, however you say that. Okay, and for the second row, starting with the shimmery blue color, you have Aurora, Dijon, Oro, Log, and Varus, Varus. I apologize if I'm like butchering these names, but. Okay, and then the last row, starting with this shade, you have Brass, Sandstone, Alchemist, Teak and Aurum. That's how you say it. I mean, it's, they're all. I'm trying to remember how I did that uh, eye tutorial. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the shade Aria, which is this shade right here. It's kind of light matte brown shade. And I'm going to take this on a Morphe R35. I'm just going to start blending see like oh that shade is just so pretty I love mattes so much does anyone else struggle and feel like both eyes are never even or is that just me because sometimes I feel like one eye looks darker and then you go to add more and then you feel like I gotta you know kind of like whenever you do eyeliner and you just keep going heavy-handed until your entire eyelid is covered in black eyeliner Okay, now that that is seamlessly blended, can you just look at that? Like, what? Okay, I'm gonna take a Morphe R35 and I'm gonna go into the shade, I'm gonna go into the shade Teak right here. It's just a little bit darker. I'm just gonna try and deepen it up a little bit. Like, look at that, like instant. And they just blend so well. You know, I hear a lot of people talk about how Natasha Denona mattes can be very, very tricky to blend. I don't feel that way. I don't. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics number six brush. Okay, it's a BH Cosmetics number six brush. I actually got this in a brush set and BH Cosmetic brushes are some of my favorite brushes. I use BH Cosmetics and Morphe brushes, but BH Cosmetics, besides EcoTools, BH Cosmetics was the first brand that I kind of ventured out in to try. And I bought their little rose gold set that came with a really cute like holographic bag back when like the whole unicorn was a really big thing. And I freaking love these brushes, especially this one. I use this one single brush all the freaking time. So I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go back into the shade, not back into, I'm gonna grab the shade Log, which is this deep, rich chocolate matte brown. And I'm just gonna lightly kind of bring that in a little bit. I don't want it to be too harsh. Can you see a difference? Because I can definitely see a difference. Mm -hmm. See, like, I could even just stop right there, and I feel like that, like, even with the lid just looking kind of plain, just pop on, like, mascara or lashes if you're a lash person. 
and like I would go like that. Like I just think that looks so pretty. BH Cosmetics number nine brush from that same that same brush set, and I'm going to dip into the shade Python, which is this gorgeous. Everyone kept calling it green, but to me it's blue. I see blue, and I'm just gonna start swiping this down here. And I'm going to slowly, I, I would rather start off light with this than go in with a heavy hand because like once this shade is down, it is down. Just pulling it forward a little bit. And then I'm going to bring it like right at the crease. I don't want it too high because I don't want it blending with that other with my transition color and basic crease color. See, like it's, it's coated. We're just gonna kinda dab, dab, dab. Just a little bit. Kinda like that. I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm gonna go in with that same brush and I'm going to start lightly packing it below the lower lash line. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is just a Pro Fusion brush. It came with this Pro Fusion palette that I got. So it doesn't have a name, but I mean, it's just a little flat topper brush. Aria right here. I'm not going to put very much on there at all. Just kind of getting a base down and I'm just going to pat that right there. I'm going to go back in with the BH Cosmetics number six brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Sandstone again. And I'm just going to kind of try and blend this out a little better. What? Dijon shade? No. And that same sandstone shade. And I'm going to mix the two together, make a little cocktail, and I'm just going to just try and like smoke. Like, yeah. Oh, girl, she is busted. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a Morphe R40. It's just a clean blending brush. And I'm just going to kind of start going ham on all of this. And then I'm going to take my finger into the shade Lime Chrome. This one right up here. Oh. And just start patting. And I'm going to go in with this little tiny BH Cosmetics number 12. And I'm going to dip into that same lime chrome shade. And I'm just going to put it in the center. I'm going to go into the shade Sparks which is this really pretty white shade. And now this isn't necessary unless like you just want to be extra like my ass, but I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger because it's very, it's very sheer. So, and I'm just going to tap that in the center because it, it really makes a lime chrome shade super vibrant. So, all right, dope. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, 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 Pencil in Zero. That's just black eyeliner. And I'm sorry, but I can't do what half the world like on YouTube does. And like, I have to lift my eye because that shit tickles and I can't, I can't deal with it. So. See? Oh, it tickles so bad. I hate that. Okay, I'm going to go in with the 24-7 Urban Decay Pencil in Deep End. 
Y'all, I love this pencil. Like, can we just like, look how pretty that is. Like, it's just so blue. Okay, anyways. And I'm just going to put this in my waterline. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my two favorite mascaras ever. We're gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Lash and then the Monster Big Lamb Comb Mascara. These are both just in black, okay? Like, I'm not trying to like be fancy and read names and crap, but it's, it's in the shade black. <laughs> gonna go wrong in this video what happened <sighs> okay sorry guys we had some major technical difficulties but just to finish this up I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Lancome mascara the last step to this eye look is I'm gonna go back in with the Jouer God, look how dirty that is highlighter in skinny dip just looks like this. Favorite highlighter ever. You can see by how dirty it is. And I'm going to just put that right under the brow, right on the inner corner. The Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Libra. I have got to figure out this like whole thing, but yeah. And then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. All right, guys, and that is going to be it for this eye makeup tutorial and lips, I guess. I just kind of threw that in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that little bell to put your notifications on. Leave a comment down below if you want to see me use any specific palette or if you would like me to review any other types of products. And give this video a thumbs up. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, I Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Like Facetune. I'm just kidding. I don't even know how to work Facetune. Like, I downloaded the app back in, like, July, and I was like, oh, I'm going to see how this works, and I gave up within the first five seconds, and I was like, screw this. I don't care that much, and I deleted the app, so, yeah. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da da ba dee da ba da No? Okay. This is the vibes I get while using this. I'm gonna bring it about third of the quarter. What?